All right, welcome. So I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of BT251 Computer Assisted Accounting 1 and also talk about the textbook. Um, and we're gonna talk about the view or the virtual desktop instance that you can use with this course to have QuickBooks. Okay, so first off, what you're gonna to wanna to do when you log into the uh, Canvas site here is you're gonna to want to click the start here menu and that'll walk you through a lot of the important things that you're going to do uh, right at the beginning of the course. Okay, So first thing is the textbook in introduction. So uh, you're going to have a link here for your textbook version. Uh, right now we're on the 2019 when I'm making this video. We're using the comprehensive uh, textbook by Labyrinth. Um, in a future video, you know, in future time uh, you may be in another textbook. So come here, click on your link and go through there. Uh, really what we do with this is we use the textbook and the a code that comes with that textbook to uh, complete the work assignments and to submit our work online. Okay, so in this, in this course you're gonna have uh, different types of work that you're gonna have to submit. Okay, so most of it is going to be completed with a hands-on work, right? So like like actual uh, QuickBook files that you're you're completing and, and you're submitting the results um, online through the Canvas link through the, the textbook uh, login. Uh, there are also going to be quizzes and tests. That's just a small fraction of the total score for for this term. So there's going to be quizzes and tests. Um, and uh, unit uh, unit tests, quizzes per chapter, uh, chapter tests as well, and then also unit uh, exams. And those are there's only going to be two of the unit exams for the first two units. And then our final project really makes up a lot of your almost half your score is that final project we're going to do in in the very end chapter of the course. Okay, so so for, for this, this little link, really what it's meant to do, as you follow this link, it's going to give you um, some different PDFs that you can print out. Uh, those are quizzes and tests, uh, basically the hard copy of them. So you can take them, you can work through them as you're doing your reading and your exercises in the chapter. Uh, you can hopefully, what a lot of students do is they'll read through them, to begin with, answer the ones that they know, actually get on with the chapter and do the homework and stuff and cover the chapter. And as they are doing that, they're familiar maybe with questions they've read and maybe didn't know. So as you, they find them out, as they go through the chapter, they'll be able, able to answer the questions. That's kind of an efficient way to do it anyways. Here are some course resources. So course resources uh, are gonna be the very, the very first one is, is super helpful, right? So this one right here, this link is gonna be where you're gonna go and you're going to find the, uh, the homework um, company files for QuickBooks and the portable files for the, for the textbook. Okay, so as you scroll down here, I'm gonna scroll down and I see right here, uh, this is the 2019. We haven't quite switched, switched over to 2020 yet. We may do that next year. Uh, in these files, this is what you're going to want to download down below here. The company files and the portable files, you're going to want to download that. And you're going to want to save that to a file location that you're going to have access to. Uh, I suggest that you save it to your U drive, which is your personal student drive on the servers of the college or you can save it to a cloud drive, like out on um, Google Drive or uh, OneDrive. So you have OneDrive that you can get to and use as well with your college login as well. So you have OneDrive through your students. Uh, the Google Drive, if you have your own personal Google Drive and you like to use that one, that's fine as well. So you're gonna wanna download these files and, and use them. That's one of the resources. Uh, up here at the beginning as well, uh, there's uh, the first two chapters of the book, the 2019 book is made available here. That's just for students that are just kind of not quite able to get the book quite yet. Uh, you can still do the work. You're not gonna be able to submit the work yet until you get that final code uh, accompanying the book to submit your work. So you, but you, at least you can start forward with this and submit them when you get, 
get uh, the, the book uh, purchased. So these links down here with the QuickBooks, QuickBooks Resource Center, this is where you're gonna go. You can sign up for a one-year version of the desktop version of QuickBooks. And you can you can uh, you go here. You you fill out the form. They send you an email. You you complete your sign up through that email, and you can have that so you can download it locally onto your uh, computer. I'm also going to include another link here. Let me show you really quick. This is another uh, resource you're going to be able to use here. This is called uh, the Virtual Desktop Instance or the View. And so you should be able to type from any computer, you should be able to type uh, view.tvcc.cc. Uh, you can, depending on how your, um, uh, your internet is set up, you may want to include at the beginning of this, you may want to include the uh, secure um, link right here. So basically you're just Oops, there we go, just like that. HTTPS, right, which is a secure site and, and do the view as well. So either one works from there and then it'll take you to this page. So this page is, is the login. You can go straight in. I, what I would do is to go straight into the HTML access right here. Okay, you're gonna wanna put your username and your, this is your student username and your password in here. This is your student password, right? Okay, so your student username, student password in there. And then it'll have a VLabs login right here. I have the staff one as well, but you're just gonna have the VLabs. You're gonna go in through by clicking this link. It's gonna open up. So what, what, a, what a virtual desktop instance is, is it's an opportunity for you to use somebody else's computer, basically, right? So the, com the college has a server set up that you can use as your computer. It runs within your web browser, right? So if you use like Google Chrome, for example, it's gonna run inside your web browser. So this looks like a desktop that's opening up, but it's not, it's actually my web browser and I can minimize it, for example, and I can go back to my Chrome browser down here and, and I can reopen it and open that desktop. So really it's inside the browser. So that's important to understand that you're using a computer that's not your local computer. So as you do this, uh, there's going to be a couple things that will, um, one of the benefit of doing this is one, you're going to have QuickBooks available to you in this view. So you can go in here in this desktop instance, you can click on this application folder right here. And within that folder is going to be QuickBooks Premier. So right here, right? You can go ahead and open that up. So that's your QuickBooks. You can get it from anywhere. Anywhere you have internet, you can have it. So um, go ahead and you can close this. There's just some some screens to open up we don't need. So this is this is what you need. This is QuickBooks right here, right? Go ahead and close that box and here you go. You've got your QuickBooks um, that you can use within the view. Just, it's not the same as having it downloaded locally and, and I'll show you why, right? So as I go in here and I go to open, uh, an existing company, right? And I'm gonna look for a company file, for example. Uh, and we go to this PC. These folders and files are not on my computer that I'm using right now. They're off on a server somewhere, right? So if you save something locally, or if you have a USB drive, for example, a thumb drive, right, USB drive, you're not gonna be able to access it from your computer uh, locally. Everything has to, is going to be saved that you're going to create out on um, uh, the server. You can also save it on, like I said before, you can save it on a cloud drive, right? Like a OneDrive or a Google Drive. You can do that through here. So this, this view has access to the internet, all the resources you have on the internet, or the college servers. And so the college service has access, for example, right here, we see the U drive, and that's my U drive. You're gonna have your own U drive on there. Um, you can also uh, open up um, files. You can go get files from your uh, OneDrive or your uh, Google Drive and, and download them and use them uh, in the view. You're gonna download it to the server that you're working off of, right? Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. It takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, 
So, so anyways, so, so I'm gonna go into my U drive. I'm gonna ha have, ha have access to it from the view. And I will go in here into, this is my file on my U drive. And I can open a company file from here. And uh, there we go, and I can open that up, right? And work on it. And then save it. I can save it out to my U drive, is what I would suggest you do, or also save it out if you wanna use a cloud drive, that's fine as well. So I, I would suggest the U drive to begin with. The U drive you have access to from the view in here, right? You can have access to it from the view, or you can have access to the U drive when you're on campus, any, any campus, any lab, uh, computer lab or computer on campus has access to the U drive as well. So when you're in a computer lab on campus, you can kind of have access to your, um, your view or the virtual desktop, okay? So I'll, I'll put a link in there for that so you can use that. And then here at the very end, of course, take the welcome quiz and you're good to go. So hopefully this was a good intro video. Uh, get you squared away and get you at least off to a good start. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks.